Hey there, it's Aviva from Elementor. In this video, we'll explore and build an archive template. So what's an archive? When you visit a site's blog and see a list of published articles, you're actually viewing an archive page. Archives include a variety of terms that you're probably already familiar with. Author, date, category, search results, recent posts, and other tags or any other taxonomy. With Elementor, you can control your archive's layout and design, affecting all different archive terms in just a few steps. So how do you set up an archive page? Easy. Go to your site's dashboard, templates, theme builder. If you haven't set up any site parts, you'll see this screen. Click the blue plus icon to set up your archive template. If you've already set up a site part, you'll see this screen. Click the blue plus icon here. This lands you in the blocks library, where you can select a ready-to-use block or design your own from scratch. You can also use a pre-designed template, which is what I'll do. So click insert here. When designing your archive, try out these two widgets, the archive title and archive posts widgets. The archive title here can be customized and styled like any other title. This widget displays the kind of archive that is being viewed, like an author archive, Click on the title widgets handle, and over here in the panel, under content, click on the wrench icon and adjust the slider to on or off for the include context option. This will remove or include your archive term from the title. And this is the archive posts widget. Take note that the number of archive posts displayed in the archive is determined by your WordPress archive settings. If you want to change that number, just go to the WordPress dashboard, Settings, Reading, and set the number of posts you want. It will impact all of your archives. With archive posts, the content is generated dynamically based on which type of archive is being viewed, such as a date archive, author archive, etc. Since it's dynamic content, you'll need to select the type of content in order to preview it. To do this, click the eye icon, Settings, Preview Settings. For example, if you choose to design archives for specific categories, you'll see how they appear by using the Categories Archive Selection mode, choosing specific categories, and previewing each one. Notice that both the archive title and archive posts change with the preview. You can do the same for other types of archives, such as date, author, and tags archives as well. What if there's no content? No problem, you can customize your default site message if the archive is empty or for a category page with no results. Just click on the widget and in content, choose Advanced and edit the message to display in that case. To apply the design, click on Publish and click on the Add Condition button to select the condition. By default, all archives will be displayed, which will apply your design to every archive type. Now, if you want to apply the design only to a specific archive, select a specific condition. For example, categories, tags, author, or any archive you like. This way, you can create a beautiful and unique design for specific archives. Click Save and Close, and you're done. So go ahead and create your own archives page. Play around with the archive-specific widgets, customize them, and apply your own personal style or try a pre-designed template from the library. With archive templates, you'll save lots of time while ensuring design consistency throughout your site. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.